I want to read this to you. I said Good this. Window. My dear friend and comedy collaborator, Whoa. Gilbert Golon, Golon. <laughs> is trying to get an audition for Mad TV. I wouldn't ask if I didn't think he was the greatest thing since me. He's Filipino and young and super talented. He's represented by Principal Entertainment, L.A. Matt Burkle. Shout also, out to also Matt. I'd love to get involved any way I can with the show. Thanks. Then he goes, it is arranged, Bobby. Thank you. Right? So that's what I said. Mm. All right? If you go in there tomorrow and shit the bed, that goes down the toilet. Can I say so that? I, I don't care Can if I you're scared. It? I don't no, care no, no, if no. you guys think that I'm being fucked up right now no. by bringing it up. Look at me right now. Mm. I want you to fucking get the job. All right. He will. So man up, step into it, mm -hmm. and get this fucking job. Can I say? Don't this? be scared. I'm, not, I'm trying. Look I, at me can, right now. I say this. Yeah, I'm saying because I know you hate when. See, you're already Go smiling. Ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Are you crying right now? <laughs> yeah, you you look like you're about. I'm to about cry. to cry. Cry because I might hug you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, seriously, but thank you. <laughs> no, seriously. Please don't fuck. <laughs> well, it got close. Uh, it got close. It got close, right? Yeah, it got close. But that's what I fucking said. But no, I will always. Yeah, I will yeah, always. My represent, pride. I will always. Represent I, you, I believe you. I believe in you. That's why I did that. Well, growing up, there weren't a lot of role models. There was the dude from Barney Miller. I don't know his name. You know what I mean? There was uh, Johnny Yoon. You know, he did. They call me Bruce. Obviously, the karate guys. But the thing is, with the karate guys, is that I just I was always fat and lazy, and I just knew that I don't didn't know how to do any of that, you know what I mean? Or to, it didn't spark my interest to take Kung Fu lessons. So pretty much my only role models came later. I think my first one, genuine one, it was in like maybe 1990 or 91, I was living at home. I was living in San Diego and when I saw Margaret Cho do um, maybe her first special was when I, I think she did like a six minute spot on a late night show or something, and I just thought, wow, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? Because I had never really seen anyone that looked like me and also that thought the way I did on TV. And I think that's, it's not really about an Asian thing, it's about behavioral thing too. It's like, you know what I mean? I mean, Jeremy Lin's very important for people that want to be Asians and people that want to be athletes. But you know, I don't, I'm not an athlete because I'm fat. But the thing is, is that, I just feel like there needs to be a variety of things out there, right? For everyone to, you know what I mean, to grasp something, you know? My parents were traditional Koreans and they initially found it uh, horrifying that I was getting into show business or stand up, you know? But any anybody, especially if you're a kid and you look like me, and if your parents or society says you can't do it, it that they're wrong because they don't know. There are no rules and I just kind of, I don't have any, I'm not talented. I, I don't have, here's the only thing that I'm good at is I say yes. I say yes to life. I don't let fear, you know what I mean? Or what people think of me get in the way of act, my actions. Like I've made a fool of myself. I've had bad auditions. I've had bad shows, you know what I mean? But I don't let that, you know what I mean? Deter me because it's like, I, I live in a free world. I do what my heart says. And if you, I just hope, hopefully kids take that out of it because I'm not like a great guy. I'm okay, I'm not evil, but I've never murdered anybody or pillaged. I asked Lee, being a celebrity, if he has ever been starstruck. Maybe a couple months ago I met Elijah Wood. I love hobbits. I do. <laughs> They're so cute. And I was at the comedy store, it's a club in LA, and I, I performed, he was in the audience and I walked up and I go, hey, I just want to say I'm a big fan. He stood up, gave me, in the middle of the show, gave me a handshake and he said that was very funny and that was, that was cool. So let's talk about animal practice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In a new show of... I used to be on the wrestling team and they used to flood the heavy, the, 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 the um, heavyweight, they used to dangle me. I know his name, I'm not gonna say his name. But he used to dangle me in the toilet and dunk my head in the toilet. You know what I mean? And there was like diarrhea in there, you know what I mean? It was my diarrhea, so it's okay. <laughs> it was my diarrhea, but um, he used to do that, right? And I used to cry, you know, ah, you know what I mean? What kids don't realize is, is that, you know, the bullies, they don't end up like cool later in life. 
It's the it's the guy that was picked on that later, if they can find themselves, become they they're the ones that shift cultures. You know what I mean? And if just these kids realize that it's just momentary, Fe feelings are not final. Things change. That's a universal truth. You know what I mean? And they uh, life goes up and down. And you know what I mean? It, even those bullies turn out to be cool guys later, and vice versa. I don't know what happens, but you should never make a decision like. You know, kill yourself or hurt yourself because of a moment. You know what I mean? Because because ten years from now, you never know.